Top kill! Top driver! You'd be a better forklift driver than a bricklayer. Huh? What do you reckon? Uh, what are you backing up to now? Lift it up a bit, the arm up a bit, lift the arm up a bit. Painful. That was painful. <laughs> Watch where you're going. Now what? Just leave it there. All right, let's go and get this last bit done. Uh, lift round, they <laughs> actually smashed round. It's only about fucking half one. Uh, no, it's not. It's like two o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get back some time, all right? <laughs> just trick you lot staying a bit later. I don't think so. <laughs> we, we were just making sure that that 
that forklift can lift up a pack of bricks up this high because it is the smallest forklift you can get, I think. I think it's the smallest one you can get. Um, if we're on site anyway. What's the trip? What's the trip? <laughs> right, so anyway, uh, next stage is to get it up to plate height and there's some really important heights that you want to make sure you hit. Are you fucking smiling at? Fuck off. <laughs> so, right, so anyway, first thing you want to make sure, laser level, is go round and check every corner. Find the highest corner, which for me is this one. This one's, everything else is bang on, but this one corner is 20 mil high. I have no idea re reason why. Because you built that corner. I'm pretty sure Frank built that down there actually, and I went gauge off of it, but there you go. Frank, if you're watching, it's your fault. That's what you've got to be good at. As bricklayers, you've got to blame other people. Always blame the person that is not there. <laughs> Lesson number one to the apprentices, blame anyone that ain't there. <laughs> I'm joking, always take your responsibility. <laughs> always take responsibility of what you're doing. Um, right, so we're 20 mil high here, which means that if this corner brickwork is 20 mil high, this frame here, is going to be the highest frame out of everywhere and to get you need to get everything <laughs> plane that's a cool plane Sorry. you need to get everything level again right and you don't want to i don't know let's say just say that other corner over there that frame is 10 mil lower than this one here if you go to that one and level round with the one that's 10 mil lower than this one or 20 mil lower than this one then when you go around and transfer the level point around, when you hit this, this frame, you're gonna be 20 mil low to the frame, which is no good whatsoever. So you need to find the highest head of frame, and that will be your go-to point from everything. Um, so you'll hit that head of frame, Say let's say your head of frame's here, then if you've got three courses over the top, you'll gauge up three from there, you'll transfer the head of frame on this point here to each profile onto here and then you'll go build it round. You might come up 20 mil higher than the frame, which that isn't a problem. Um, it's when you're 20 mil low to the frame that it becomes a problem. So we're gonna make sure we're gonna track we're gonna level off of this one here. Get to the laser level. Got my laser level here. This is a this is a Topcon self-leveling laser. So I've had this for about three years, I think. Um, this was actually given to, not given to me. I bought it secondhand. Um, some a ground worker called Archie, Archie McLean. How are you doing, Archie? You're right if you're watching. Archie bought, uh, got this for me. Uh, I think he got it for about 400 quid for me, refurbished. Um, I think brand new, you're looking at about grand. It's a self-leveling laser. <clears throat> Fuck me, you keep walking. Right, so. Don't, should I cut this? Because it gets no, boring. No, I'm, I, I, I'll edit it. I'll cut bits out. Oh, there's ducks over there. Look at the ducks in the lake, Charlie. Cute. Right, so. So. That's level, right? Because I built that one. And this one's 12. 12 mil lower than that one. So take the highest point of the highest frame, which is that one. That frame over there is actually lower and that one's even lower. So that is your highest frame, yeah? So that is your go-to, yeah? Yeah. With your brickwork, right? Yeah. Um, then once you've hit this, you've got whatever you've got above it and block work on the inside, you'll have, I don't know, probably a course, maybe two with plate on top of it. I don't know, I think this is three course of brickwork on the front. I've got to have a little look. You done that yet, Tom? So. Tom's new profile, man, look. All right, get the other one set up then. 
I right. want to do one. You want to do one? Right. Amy's doing the other one. You've done the last three. Right, so we're going to get the other profile set up. And we're just going to get the levels transferred around. I'm going to then uh, check. Okay, I'll then gauge it down. See how many courses we've got from here. How many courses above. So then I know how many bricks to load out. Uh, and it's going to be a day of loading out tomorrow. And then build it early, <coughs> Tuesday, probably Wednesday, maybe a bit of Thursday. I think Thursday next week, this will be ready for plate and we're off of here till further notice. So, we're gonna get cracking on. Yeah. Yeah, right, so I'm just setting this up. So I've just set that up a couple of mil higher than that. And that is the highest head of frame. I'm now going to transfer it onto all four profiles. And that will give me a level playing field. Don't tell me the fucking... We've got, oh, we've got 7.50, we've got 7.50, how many courses is that Tom? 10. Seven. Well done! We've got 10, it's the easiest one to remember. What? Yeah all right, give me a sec. So we've got 10 courses up to here, and then we've got 3 courses over the top of that. So we've got 13 courses in all through this flank. Uh, this is a gable end, so we could probably take it a little bit higher. That's the gable end, so that can go a little bit higher. And the back, I don't know the heights, but yeah, 13 courses through here, so I know what to load out. And uh, Amy just needs a hand. 